What's up, it's your boy. Y'all see me, y'all see the book. So listen, distant love. I want to elaborate on this because it's something that I was just looking at my phone, something that I heard that was down in my shun. Now, you know, my spirit helped me understand something a little different. So you ever hear the cliche, I can love somebody from a, a distance? And it's actually true because I, I was listening to church one day and, I, and this was this God put in my spirit. He said, separate divorce then marriage. And I was like, I'm confused because he said things happen from a distance a lot of times first. So let me see if I can make this clear as possible. When you get saved, that start, that's supposed to start the separation from you and your sin. Let me say that again. When you get saved, that's supposed to start the separation from you and your sin. I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight. So some of them will dissipate right away because they didn't have you locked in. But some will have a grasp on you that you don't know they had. So now, as you're separating from them, there are going to be the other sins that you know you didn't let go of. But see, those ones that you separated from, you go from separation to divorce. So now it's no more there. Okay? So now as you divorce those sins, you're going to go back to the beginning. Let me start this right so y'all get this understanding. It's going to be distant love. You're going to start separating yourself again. From another thing that was holding you or binding you or keeping you away from where you're supposed to be and you're shot not not getting you going you know where god wants you to be you feel me not okay let you move in so now let's go back again now once you get divorced for these things and god become lord as my pastor said lord of your life then you can get married see let me make this look clear when two he said the two flesh shall become and join as one so when you can make god lord where you go to god first about everything and this is a process that i'm going through at this time because he's been separating not just i ain't gonna say just physical people <coughs> forgive me y'all he separated me from the spirits that entangled me with these people i want y'all to pay attention to what i'm saying see the distant love means it ain't that i don't love them i may not like the spirits that's on them they may not like spirits that's on me but as the love becomes distant them doesn't mean there's no love but we had to separate because I'm going one direction. You're going another direction. So in the physical, you're going to have a lot of distant love. There's going to be a lot of people in your life that you love them with everything within you. But you don't need to be in a presence. Are y'all following me here? I mean, I'm, I'm trying, I want to make this clear. You don't have to be there in the midst of them. Okay, perfect example. Now, this is what he said one day. He said when he was in the world, my pastor, you know, it's my man's possible past. Love him. Down, we down like four flats on the pickup. So listen, he said, but what he realized was the separation and divorce. It was all happening in one because these guys started getting to the point where he would come around that I'm going to say they respected him. But first and foremost, they respected the God that's in him. So what they would do is when you come around and you say something that's not right, they'd be like, hey, that's the pastor. Hey, don't do this. He don't do that no more. See, that's when you know that you're starting to live the way he wants you to when you live in for the Lord, when God becomes Lord. See, this is a, this is the thing that you're going to start to see as you get for real with God. And I'm learning this because as I'm getting more for real. See, I've been reading the word for a while and I've been saved forever, but I'm just really making him Lord of my life. I want y'all to get this because that distant love can be mother, sister, brothers. But he even says in his word, he's like, man, shoot. He said, you know, confusion is in the own, your own household. It's with your blood family. But the thing is, that love, when you separate yourself for him, he'll use you to draw them, but you're already where he got you going. It's climbing up a bunch of stairs. I'm going to make this metaphor and make it real quick. You ever see where they show people where uh, it's all these people on a ladder and you see people pushing people off, but you see somebody on one of those images and they're on a ladder by themselves? That's because that's their journey. The problem is too many of us want to take someone else's journey. They ain't got where God got you. Your journey is just for you. Is you climbing up that ladder, trusting and believing in him that he's got you. It's about, thank you, Jesus. It's not being, it's about being like Lot. Quit looking back. See, the more you look back, the harder it is to go higher. So you're becoming distant from everything that you thought you loved so much. But the thing is, the thing that you love the most is in front of you, and that's God. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave it right there because I, 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 I went a little deep there. And I don't know if y'all was ready for that. So I always want y'all to think about that, but truly let that sink in. Listen, when you separate from this world, <laughs> that's that marriage with God. It's your boy. Next time, <sighs> peace.